Hi, and welcome to Learn Cello. This episode will be about tuning your instrument. Uh, we will make sure your instrument is in tune and ready to go. What you're going to need are two apps that you're going to need to download. The first one is called Cello Tuner, and you can see there on the screen, uh, it's a blue box with the words C-E-L-L-O, and then you're gonna also need the app called Pano Tuner, and you'll see it's a brown box with a white on the inside, it has an A um, with the number sign, which in music we call sharp. Once you have those downloaded, then you're ready to go on to the next step. We have four strings on the cello. We're gonna to need to tune each one of them. The strings in order from thinnest to thickest, so if you look straight down your instrument on the far left side to you, the thinnest string there is A. The next one right next to that is D. Keep going towards the right, you have G. And then the thickest string is C. Do that again up closer for you. The thinnest string on the far left, if you're looking down at your instrument, is A. Next one over is D. Next one is G. And the thickest string is C. Those are your four strings. We're going to need to use our app to get those four in tune. Let me make myself bigger on this one so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Um, there are two spots on your instrument to tune. You can use these up here, which are called pegs. These are for major adjustments. Or you can use down below. It's a little bit for you. It's very hard to see on my instrument. The fine, the small little knobs down here at the bottom, they're called fine tuners, and they are used for minor adjustments. <clears throat> All right, before we get started with the app, just some things to note. If, your sh if the app says that your string is majorly uh, off, you're gonna use up here, minorly off down here. If you take this and you turn it forward towards the face of your instrument, it's gonna make it a lot lower. If you take it and you turn it back, it's gonna go a lot higher, so think, Forward or down to the ground is lower. Back, like up into the sky is higher. Um, down below here for minor adjustments. If you reach down with your right hand and you push your thumb towards the left or towards the thinnest string, it's gonna make it higher, higher. If you pull your thumb back towards your right knee, or to the thicker string, it's going to make it lower. Minor adjustments down here. All right, how to use your app. First, let's do the cello tuner. That's the one you're gonna to wanna to start with. You're going to open it up. And then at the bottom of the app here, It's going to say A, D, G, and C, corresponding with our four strings. You're going to want to tap the A. It's going to open up an ad. Get rid of the ad. It's going to play the A. You're going to want to use your ear first because it's probably going to be massively off the first time you tune your instrument. Then you're gonna to wanna to take your instrument and you're going to want to pluck your string. I'm just gonna show you what it does. Forward. Way too low. Back. It's gonna make it higher. But now watch what happens when I let go. 
peg just turn back forward. Your peg is shaped like a wedge or like a triangle. So it's gonna go like this. Um, if you just directly turn it, it's just gonna go right back to where it started from. So as you turn higher, you're going to need to push in simultaneously. If you turn and then try to push, it's not gonna go in, it's not gonna work. So you have to do one, one solid motion, push in and turn simultaneously. Or if you're trying to go lower, you're gonna have to pull out and turn back at the same time. Sometimes that's hard to do from sitting in this position. So a lot of times I will turn my instrument around. I'll use my right hand. I use my left hand to pull up the string. So I know where I'm at in the tuning process. If I stop plucking and I just turn, I'm liable to turn too far. And then at that point, if there's too much tension on a string, it will break. So open your app back up. Play the A. Push in as you go. Sometimes it's a little bit stubborn. You have to push a little bit harder than you think. It will also tell you on there if it's too high or too low. Currently mine says it's too low. Which we can tell just with the, our ears on that one. And now it's moving back between too high and in tune. That's when you go down to your fine tuners. So now my app is saying too low. But I know I'm close because it was kind of juggling back and forth. So I'm going to come down here since I'm close, but it's still saying too low. I'm going to turn my knob, my fine tuner, just a little bit. Like again, it still says too low, so I go a little bit more. And it's saying I'm in tune. I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of the strings. I'm going to play the D. Often when you have to do major adjustments on one string, your other strings will then go out of tune, at least minorly. Mine says it's a little bit too low. I took it and I pushed my thumb towards my left knee, making it a little bit higher. I'm going to go over to the G. Got to remember to change it and play the note first. A common mistake that I see made is that you forget to change the note down here on the bottom. And if you forget, it's gonna obviously say you're too high or too low because it's gonna think you're playing the other string. It says I'm still in tune. Oh, I forgot to change it. And then it says I'm in tune. Now, I also like to go then and check with the Pino Tuner app. So we're gonna open that up and I'm gonna show you how this one works. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer and hopefully you'll be able to see. You can, you can see pretty well. This app tends to be a little bit more accurate than the, the cello app. The cello app's good to get you in, get you to the right A or the right D, the right G, right C. Kind of gets you in the ballpark. But I think this app does a better job at getting closer to it. So you're gonna see that red needle, and that red needle is going to show you um, if it's too high or too low. The note we're going for is A. If the needle is on the left side of the A, it's too low. It's on the right side of the A and too high. And then this little red bar that's kind of going across the top here back and forth tells you if it, um, how far you're off. Once it turns green, then it's telling you that you're in tune. So let me pluck it again. So that's to the left to me on my screen, uh, which tells me I'm too low. 
So I'm gonna take my tuner and I'm gonna push my thumb towards my left knee. Getting closer, so I'm gonna go again. Still getting closer, but not there yet. And now we see the green bar at the top telling me I'm in tune. So we'll go to the next note. D says I'm in tune. G says I'm in tune. C says I'm a little bit. A little bit too low. And there you have it. Now, some common problems with tuning. If you're not sure, so you're trying to figure it out, if you're too high or you're too low, and perhaps just make me frustrated you're not quite there, always go too low. Just intentionally make your instrument way too low. And then from there, just creep up little by little. Our ear usually does a very good job of hearing the notes um, when they're correct, when we come from below and hit it. When it's too high or slightly too high, usually our ear can detect that it's off, but we can't tell which way it's off. So just intentionally make it too low, either tilt it forward here or bring your thumb towards your right knee um, on the fine tuner below and then gradually inch, inch your way back up. Um, the second most common problem that I often see is the pegs. People have a hard time getting those to go in. Remember, push and turn, brace your hand on the opposite side of the instrument to help you. Um, if it gets too bad and you've tried and you've tried and you've tried and you can't get it, sometimes if you take a piece of chalk and you just rub a little tiny bit on the peg, that means you're gonna have to pull the peg out a little bit and you rub a little teeny tiny piece of chalk on it, stick it back in, sometimes it'll stick there. Try to avoid that if I, uh, if I can. Uh, the chalk won't hurt your instrument, you just don't want your peg to get too stuck in there because then at some point you're gonna need to loosen it and it's gonna be harder to, to loosen. So if you can avoid it, avoid it, but if you need to, because it's just not staying, pull your peg out a little bit, put a little piece of chalk on it, stick it back in and turn. Um, the third most common problem is that your fine tuners have been turned all the way, one way or the other, and they can no longer be turned anymore. If that's the case, you're gonna to wanna to turn it the other direction, uh, that it is, and then you'll have to adjust from up here and get it back close into range, and then you'll have room down below to make that work. Uh, no other common problems um, that I can think of right now, but if you do, you're always welcome uh, to send me a message and we can figure out how to make this work.